Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. We are going through the, the previews for the Battle of Omega, the fifth box set for the Digimon TCG coming out actually today. Uh, it actually dropped today in Japan. And, uh, ooh, boy, I'm, I'm high for this one. Today we're covering all about the black archetypes in Battle of Omega and... Ah, bro, if you're not running a black deck that, in this set, I don't know what you're doing. But anyway, you know what? I'm not going to tease you. Let's just get into it. This, just, this is crazy. I am super, super hype about the Black Diabordo Mon line, and by the end of this video, I can almost guarantee you, well, fuck it, you know what? I can guarantee you, you will too. So check it out. So Diabordo Mon was a Digimon that uh, was released in BTO2, I believe, and it didn't really get any support. But back in BTO5, it has come, and the effects are crazy. Let's start small, though, first. We're going to start with Karamon here. Karamon level 3. Super, super simple card. Three three on play, zero on evolve, but you, you're probably going to end up playing this card because the effect is, look at the top five cards of your deck when you play this card and add one Digimon with the unidentified type, which is the type that it has, and its entire line has, by the way, and one Arata Sanada uh, Tamer to your hand. Don't hold your, hold, the, hold your horses. Hold your horses on Arata Sanada because we'll get to him when we talk about the support cards because he's... Also bonkers. But anyway, Karamon, really good. Let's you search out your unidentified Digimon as well as Arata Sanada and uh, add them to your hand. And the rest of the cards, put them at the bottom of the deck in any order. But, you know, we don't really care about that. We're here for the good effects for the cards in hand. Check this out. All right, so you've got your Karamon on the board. You've looked through your top five cards of your deck, and you've got one unidentified card and an Arata Sanada in your hand. So then you Digivolve Karamon into, of course, Chrysalimon. Crystallimon from BTO5. On Evolve, if you don't have an Arata Sanada in play, play one from your hand without paying its cost. <laughs> How much synergy are they allowed to give one set? They're going to test the limits by the end of this. When we get to level 7, you're, you're going to find out. But also, the inheritance effect of this card is that on your turn, this Digimon and all Digimon with the same name gain haste. Now, basically what that means is, any Digimon with the same name as this Digimon right here, or whatever its evolved form is, can attack as soon as it drops onto the board. So immediately you have an entire army who's just ready to go at a moment's notice. And then, check out this next one. So let's imagine, you know, you're a Chad gamer, and you're not really down with, you know, playing level 4. So let's imagine, you know, you just got your little your uh, little Karamon on the board, and you're like, man, I wish I could just go to level 5 somehow. Well... I, there's a way to do that, and that is with level 5's Infidamon, who basically, if you have this card in your hand and you have a Karamon on the field, you can digivolve the Karamon directly to the level 5 by paying 4 memory. So despite the summoning cost here, or excuse me, the uh, evolution cost here, if you just go from level 3 to level 5, you pay 4. If you go from a 4 to a 5, then it's 3, but yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. Now that's not where things stop. Now the inheritance effect on this card is mad good. Mad good. So basically, whenever this card is deleted, you summon a 14 cost, level 6, 3000 DP Diabotomon for no cost. Let me apologize in advance because I'm about to sound like a broken record. I'm sorry in advance. My bad. Now, Infrelmon has the inheritance effect of being able to summon Diabotomon. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what is a Diabotomon? He's like, I've never seen that card before. Well, if you weren't around in BTO2, then uh, check out this bad boy here. Newly released in BTO5, and I actually just pulled one of these bad boys not too long ago. And that is Diabotomon, White Digimon, level 6. His effect is, whenever you evolve him, you play a 14 cost, level 6, 3000 DP Diabotomon token for no cost. You can... <laughs> Look, I, I already apologized to you. You can't get mad at me. But that's not where things stop. Let's keep it moving forward. Now, I know you're out there thinking, man, East, but a level 6 isn't that strong. Isn't BTO5 all about a really strong level 7 Digimon? Like, you know, all 4,000 versions of Omega Mon that just released? And my answer to you is, yes, it is. And Diabolo Mon did not get left out. Check out what he evolves to his level 7 White Amagemon. So this is, I think, a play on words for like Armageddon, but like Amagemon in Japanese. 15 on play, a 3 on evolve from black or white. Or, or if you got a Diabotomon, you might just get this bad boy for pretty cheap. So check this out. His effect is, if you have this card in hand and you have a Diabotomon on the board, you can destroy a Digimon named Diabotomon 
and play this card minus its own play cost of by 12. So you basically pay three, destroy a Diabotomon or Diabotomon token, and play this card for three. Additionally, it has the effect haste so that it can attack as soon as it touches the board. And then after that, its, it's uh, effect is on every single turn, as long as it's on the board, all level seven Digimon do not activate their own evolve effects. So all of those Omega Mons or you know Omnimons, whatever you want to call them, all the Ragnalors, all that stuff, who have on evolve effects, gone. Omage Mon, very annoying. With the addition of all of these inheritance effects, like whenever it's destroyed, summon a Diabordo Mon, and also all Digimon of the same name, let's imagine you summon another one of these, or you just decide to hold on to it at Diabordo Mon's level, all get haste. <laughs> I cannot overstate how strong this is. And if you're not convinced yet, well, I've got some support cards that might change your mind. All right, so you're looking at this lineup, you're like, wow, man, this is a great set of cards. Now, if only there was something that would make this better. Do you remember that guy, Arata Sanada, that uh, Chrysaliamon lets you play for free and Karamon lets you search out of your deck? Well, uh, let me show you him. Let me show you this guy really fast. Arata Sanada, three cost tamer. Super simple, right? Here's, here's where things get a little crazy. At the start of your turn, if you have a Digimon with unidentified as its type in your trash, gain plus one memory. Guess what type all of this entire line just happens to have? I'll give you a moment. I'll let you think it over. Unidentified. So basically, you drop one of these bad boys, and every single turn you're getting plus one memory over and over and over. The value doesn't stop there either. Whenever you Digivolve into a Digimon that is named Diabotomon, you can rest this tamer and... Summon a 14 cost, level 6, 3000 DP, Diabotomon for no cost. Like everything else. <laughs> and then the security effect of this card is to just play it without paying its cost. So, um, Karamon and Chrysalimon get it out for you. Security gets it out for you. It's 3 cost, so it's pretty cheap. The Diabotomon is, excuse me, Diabotomon line is amazing. I, I can't even make words right now, Jesus. <laughs> Now you're wondering, but I want East. Isn't there a way I can somehow summon a Diabotomon? I'm having such a hard time doing that. I have just the option card for you, my friend. Check out Catastrophe Cannon. Four cost Catastrophe Cannon. Its effect is to D Digivolve an opponent's Digimon by two. So if it's a level five, it becomes level three. If it's a level seven, it becomes level five. Very strong effect. Getting rid of some really, really buff cards very quickly. Additionally, if you have a Diabotomon on the board, somehow, I don't know how that's going to happen, but you know, you'll, if you somehow find yourself with a Diabotomon on board, then you can summon a 14 cost, level 6, 3000 DP Diabotomon for no cost. <laughs> They're demons! And finally, let's imagine that you, you know, you've got 1500 billion million Diabotomons on the board, ready to, st ready to storm your opponent's security, but you're like, man, he's... They have big Omnimon, me, me, me scared, me afraid. Well, this archetype does have some removal support. Check it out. Take a look at Ultimate Flare here on the more expensive side, eight cost. However, the effect is D Digivolve an opponent's Digimon by three levels. If they're level seven, they go to level four. If they're level six, they go to a level three. If they're level five, they go to a level three. You can't D Digivolve before, below three, so it goes to level three. Three is the lowest it can go. But then after that, you delete all of your opponent's three cost or lower Digimon. So <laughs> if they're level six, they're basically just wiped from the board clean. If they're level seven, they probably stick around, but you took it from a seven to a four. It's like going from an Omnimon to a Greymon. It's pretty strong. And then, of course, the security effect is to activate the main effect. So if you catch it on security, it's pretty decent defense. Now, I said that this lineup came out in BTO2, or some of the support cards for this came out in BTO2. So I went back and took a look at what those cards do, and I was like, wow. They really just, like, they really just held on to this, to these cards for a bit, because the BTO2 cards are actually pretty strong, too. And I, look, there's a restricted list that went out, and it, the green got targeted. It might be this line next, man. I'm telling you. Check this out here. So BTO2 in Feralmon has the effect that on your turn when you you can digivolve this card into a Diabotomon for minus one 
the Evolve cost. So let's imagine you just for, happen to forget your Diabotamon's Evolve cost. Let's take a look here. Oh no, Diabotamon for two. Who then summons the Diabotamon? <laughs> Who attacks and then summons up the Diabotamon? Who then, whenever you evolve into him, you rest your Arata Sanada and you get another Diabotamon. Oh my god. <laughs> Now, finally, I know what you're thinking, man, East, you know, Infraelmon and Amagemon and Diabortomon and Karamon are all great, and all the support is awesome, but man, if only I could have one more Diabortomon. Well, well, well. Check out this card. It was printed in BT02, and as I read it, as I look at this card, I honestly cannot believe it exists, because the effect is absolute, like, crazy bonkers. So level 6 Diabotamon from BTO2 set, summon a 14 cost, level 6, 3000 DP Diabotamon for no cost. On attack, every single time you attack. And then, if this Digimon would be destroyed by battle, on both turns, this effect by the way, if this Digimon would be destroyed by battle, you can delete another Digimon named Diabotamon instead of this one. Think about that for a moment. All this stuff we just talked about that summons about a 15 billion Diabotomons, and then this guy on attack summons them outright. And then, if you want to delete him to stop him from, you know, making copies of himself, he just deletes the tokens instead. Look, all you guys who are playing the English TCG, look, this is back in February, but when you guys get this in fall of 2021... Build the Diabotomon deck. Don't hesitate. Don't think about it. I'm giving you like a six month plus head start. This is gonna, this is gonna be at the top of the meta. I stay. I stake all all the rupees in my pocket versus all the rupees in your pocket or whatever currency you use. I don't use rupees, but that's all I can think of. I'm I'm at a loss for words how strong this archetype is, and I don't. I'm surprised that nobody saw it coming. Nobody, uh, the people making this game saw this coming. But uh, I'm going to give you the 411 now. Build it, win. You're welcome. <sighs> so, guys, that that's it. Um, look, if you like winning, here are the cards on here are the cards on stream to let you, to let you do that. And just do me a favor when they ask how you figure this out. How did you how did you net deck this amazing black deck? Just just tell them who sent you. Send it back to the channel. Also, if you're interested in any of the other archetypes that are coming out this week, um, at the end of this video, I'll put up a link to another one. But uh, yeah, I'm doing one for every single color. I think that the last one I have to put out, and that'll probably be tomorrow, is going to be purple. Now, purple got some really cool stuff. And honestly, uh, purple is my favorite color for Digimon. I've had, I have had a ton of fun building uh, purple decks and uh, of every variety. And uh, I think that they also have perhaps one of the strongest cards in the entire set so yeah stay tuned for that uh, tomorrow um look at you guys if you like this do me a favor like it subscribe hit the little bell so you know whenever i do upload more digimon content in the near future if there's any other hype stuff you're excited about for digimon tcg let me know in the comments below um let's see what else what else i have the abortal model on the brain so i can't really think of anything else you know <laughs> um yeah also if you're interested in watching digimon tcg uh my buddy and i we play uh every friday in tokyo in our studio in akibara and uh, you can come and hang out with us in the stream chat have a good time just watch some good digimon uh, additionally if you're uh if you want to talk if you want to find people to talk to about digimon uh, tcg hop on my discord all that information is in my description below and uh yeah love to have you guys i'm looking for some really cool people who, who are interested in the game and so uh yeah trying to find like-minded folks Anyway, guys, I got to go. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.